Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of EVE Echoes. Today, as promised, we're going to touch down on a troubling subject, because so many players are confused and don't fully understand how bubbles work. As such, in this episode, we will be talking about the interaction between your ship and warp interdiction bubbles, or warp disruption field generators. Before we get into our subject, please remember to like and subscribe if you like what we're seeing here, and of course, if you really want to help me keep this channel alive, there's a YouTube channel membership, uh, you can donate something as small as $2 monthly. We're going to tackle each of the possible scenarios, each fact and each myth that I can think of. If you know about any other, please let me know in the comment section, I'm not a goddamn Wikipedia. <laughs> So grab a beer and fasten your seatbelt, because it's going to be one hell of a ride through bubbles. Fact: Bubbles can only be deployed in nullsec. Warp disruption field generators can only be activated in nullsec. Period. Fact: You cannot warp out from a bubble, unless you have an interceptor that specifically has a perk, interdiction nullifier, slash ignores bubbles. Myth. I can warp out of a bubble if I fit warp core stabilizers and rigs. Complete junk of a myth. A bubble has in theory infinite warp jamming strength, but it's actually somewhere around 100, probably just a value that denies you warp out. Fact: If you die inside a bubble and no one has disrupt a scrambler active on you, then your kill mail won't show a warp jammer strength indicator. The bubble offers a constant warp interdiction, but it's not an active effect on your ship. The effect triggers only when you try to initiate warp. Not sure if it's possible, but if you time it right, hit warp right when you go boom, the bubble effect might show up on the kill mail. Have fun trying it. <laughs> Fact, if you hit warp before the bubble is deployed, and the bubble deploys while you are aligning, you will warp out successfully, unless someone activates a disruptor scrambler on you during the align time. Then you're fucked. Fact, if you warp to a gate that has a bubble, you will land at the edge of that bubble. Exception that this is again the interceptor that ignores bubbles. Interceptors will pass through and land on the gate. Fact, if you warp to a gate that has no bubble, but someone deploys the bubble on the gate while you are mid-warp, you'll pass right through the bubble and you'll land safely on the gate. Fact, if there's a bubble placed on your direction of warping, 100 kilometers after the gate, behind the gate, you'll get dragged to the bubble, land on its edge, 100 kilometers away from the gate. Myth, if someone puts a bubble mid-warp, halfway between two points in space, you'll get stopped in space. Very, very false. When you initiate warp, a warp tunnel from point A to point B is created, and you are inside a warp generation field. Warp tunnel collapses when you reach your destination, and that's the only place and time that your ship will be affected by the bubble. Because the warp interdiction bubble interferes with your navigation computer's calculation of the warp tunnel collapse and warp generation field, destabilizing your ship. <laughs> I science my way out of this one. Thank you, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Fact. Bubbles have a deployable core. Even if it's invisible for now because the overview was not updated, it's there. So getting close to the bubble center while cloaked will decloak you. Watch out, covert ops ships. Myth. If you're flying an interdictor destroyer, you cannot launch a bubble on top of another bubble. Complete bullshit. Launcher has a 60 seconds cooldown. Bubble has 120 seconds lifespan. You can sit in the same place and spam bubbles as soon as the launcher allows you to. Myth. You have to be stationary when you deploy the bubble. False. Myth. Catching someone with a bubble gets you on the kill mail. Completely false. Shoot or activate a module that generates an effect on the enemy ship. That will get you on the kill mail. You can be on the kill mail with zero damage, but you can't be with just a bubble catch. One thing I didn't manage to test, please let me know in the comments if you managed to test it. If you warp to a gate while well, there's a bubble up at the destination, but the bubble expires before you reach your destination and the destination is no longer bubbled by any other bubble, you'll still end up where the bubble was? Question mark. Or do you reach the gate? Question mark. 
I would say you'd end up where the bubble was, because warp destination is calculated at the moment of initiating warp, and when warp was initiated, the bubble was there. But do please confirm, thank you very much. That's it for today, I hope you learned something. Thank you guys for watching, a very big shout out to my channel supporters. See you guys next time, cheers.